And whenever you're seeing this, wherever you are, welcome back. Welcome if you're new. I am so foolish girl. Let's get into this collective real time reading. Um, okay, it's not me. It's not me. It's not me saying this. I'm hearing they want to cuff you and bag you. Okay? And tag you. <laughs> this cuffing season. Okay? So someone is thinking about you right now during this cuffing season. And if you guys don't want to have no babies, you know what to do. You know all of those safety precautions, okay? Because this is going to be happening for whoever is watching this. Blessings, okay? Namaste if you are wanting to have a family. Um, you might be feeling like, look at this, with this finder of lost things, there's so much abundance coming towards you right now. If you're watching this video, go ahead and smash the like button to return the energy, all right? Um, to confirm this energy. So look, we have the elephant. There is some abundance heading towards you. You might've been going through something for nine months or more. You might've been going through a, trans a transition, a season, right? And I love that. This is actually being filmed during the harvest moon. What? Okay, so some of you watching could be a Virgo and Virgo season, or you could be a Pisces. Don't have to be. Could be any sign, okay? Um, Pisces represents all the signs anyway um, of the zodiac. So with this harvest moon, this is deep. Okay, so spring. Well, you know what? You've been waiting for something to happen for a long time since the springtime. You could have been waiting for something to happen since the spring, and now it's about to manifest. I'm definitely seeing that with this mother card. Some of you, your mother could be involved. You could be a mother yourself. You could just be creating something or lost your... Lost... And I'm, I'm hearing like, no, this is really about your love life. But for some of you, your love life is... Finding your way through to some sort of creativity because the spring for me really does represent a life and excitement, fun, um, something new, new experiences. So, yeah, this is so fun. I'm like, wow, amazing, amazing, amazing. Let's see. Just tapping into any psychic messages that want to come through. Yeah, you being like put on a pause or just feeling like you're suspended in time with this this held. This this card just simply says held. So if you've been feeling like you've been waiting for something and waiting and waiting and waiting, well, your time is now. It's time for you to come out. And I definitely feel like somebody's gonna hold you. <laughs> I can't. It literally says held. Somebody's going to hold you tight this cuffing season. Like, you're going to feel that energy of what it feels like to be a child. Like, don't get me emotional right now. Whoever this reading is for, this is so beautiful. Somebody's going to hold you tight like a baby, okay? And for some of you, someone's going to hold you tight who wants to procreate with you. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, listen, that heartbreak and that sorrow that you were feeling in your previous connections and really finding it difficult to make decisions and choices with this person, this person's going to help you. Like, you're just going to know who this person is and for, who, for who, whomever of you that have been going through a lot of pain, just breathe with me and take what resonates and leave what doesn't, okay? All of that sorrow and all of that pain is going to a solid stop. You're going to know. And the person who's choosing you, right? Because there is a choice here I'm getting to be made. Um, I have my own psychic reasons, okay? You guys, let me know if this reading is resonating with you in detail because I'm definitely getting someone here really loving the color red is significantly coming through um someone could have red hair someone could have brown hair blonde hair um 
This person is brave. They are bold as brass and they see you as their mirror, okay? Cupid's arrow here is about to strike. This is someone who's in an authoritative figure, okay? This is someone who a lot of people want to be with are interested in and even if it's a small circle or a small town that I'm, I'm hearing if this person were to like step out in the limelight like like even the stars even celebrities would fondle over this person because of their effortless I'm hearing swag okay and what's funny is how this person is actually viewing you right so let's see how this person on your mind this cuffing season is viewing you right now. Yes, I love this deck. Um, oh my God, I can't make this up. Soulmate, what? So you're about to be cuffed up with your soulmate this season. How cute is that? You know what I mean? <laughs> That's how they see you, especially if you're available. If you're not available, this person could be feeling so much sorrow and heartbreak, okay? And, you know, you can flip it how it wants, how you want, all right? Um, but the funny thing is they're still going to think about you because they're your soulmate. So this person is thinking about you, um... This cuffing season, these are their thoughts about you. This cuffing season is like, yo. Mm. And the reason I'm saying, look at this, it's winter. This kind of looks like fall to me. So, yeah. So, and I love this. Oh my God. This is why I love to pull the cards on camera because, look, we went from spring. This looks like spring. This says spring. And this is definitely fall, okay? So, yeah, there is some sort of story here where maybe some of you met this person in the spring. Maybe this could be a spring baby, right? Shout out to you if you're a spring baby. Um, okay, a lot of you. Oh, my God. All right. I was about to put the deck away, but then they go like, nope, nope, nope. Here's another card. Synchronicities. This person is seeing signs of you everywhere. And I really wouldn't be surprised if a lot of you watching, okay, if you end up in an actual relationship with this person or if you spend the next, I don't know, three months with this person, family is coming into play. So a lot of you, this could be someone that you meet through your family, through a close friend. Um... Let's just see. Oh, it's so much. So, oh my goodness. Okay, let's just put one more card from this deck to see. Um, how are they feeling about you this cuffing season? And then we're going to see what they're going to do next. We're going to pull the tarot. Okay, they're seeing you. See how this crown energy. You see this? Leader. Yeah, that's how they're seeing you. And look at this. There's two crowns here. For some of you, this could be a same-sex relationship. Doesn't have to be. But I'm definitely getting a masculine and feminine energy. All right? We're talking about energy. And I'm noticing the two crowns here. Okay? <clears throat> so, yeah, I was saying that they see you as, like, their mirror. And they see you as a leader. And there's this braveness. Some of you could have tattoos. This person that's on your mind, they could have tattoos. Um, this person is very sensitive and they just feel like they have this idea about the world and they just feel like you get it. It's like maybe they have the ideas and then you come through with the action. Um, definitely this person, their love language is gift giving and also like intuitive. So it's like they might not say something but they would expect you to know, okay? And this person, how they're, they're seeing you like in this cuffing season, like what is the vibe between the two of you? Yeah, I feel like if this is new, there's definitely something blossoming 
and we do have joy on the bottom of the deck but it wasn't reversed so i just kind of feel like maybe if this person tried to walk away from you or if you've been having some problems in your communication because i'm noticing this little black bird here that makes them very unhappy that makes them feel like they lost their best friend so like this is weird this person especially if this is new it's like this person's feelings are way deeper for you than than what you realize like you really make this person's day and let's just see let's get into this tarot and just see what can you expect from them moving forward this coffin season ow i don't know i love that download that was super sweet um this person's gonna honestly they're gonna they're going to try to act like you ignoring them isn't bothering them but it is pissing them off in such a huge way like they do not want to see you with any one else um but they might not show it now for some of you they might act a fool all right we got the five of wands in reverse could be aries leo sag it doesn't have to be could be any sign <laughs> this person might act a dang i'm hearing ross clap fool i don't know somebody here could be jamaican they could just really be acting a straight fool um and being really competitive especially in social settings and really watching who you're talking to what you're talking about okay um what can you expect from this person oh this you can expect this person to invite you out places and also like just mm, really watch your every move watch everything that you're doing that's what you could expect this person to do you could expect this person to watch your every move, watch everything that you're doing, and be all up on you like the Channel 9 News. Um, I'm not even kidding. Like, if this person's going out to a party or going out to dinner or anything like that, they're, they're going to want to hit you up and ask you to come out with them. Um, could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Expect this person to wow you. Um, don't be fooled by this person because for some of you, this person really does play a lot of mind games. Like, I feel like right here, it's like he's he's looking at her, but he's like trying to pretend that he doesn't see her because of the image. It's like, I want to reach out and touch you, but it's just like, okay, come on and do it. It's taking him... I don't know there's just something about this 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 vibe being black and white it's like he wants to do this when no one else is looking like at the end of the day this could even be a secret admirer because this is a six of wands this could be someone like really looking at you online but you don't know that they're looking at you okay they're admiring you and they're like ooh, ooh. so what you can do is kind of maybe expect them to kind of act like they're not playing you close when they are playing you close um, but also for some of you, you could expect this person to show you off. But I feel like it's for the majority. Yes, this person is a trickster. This person. <laughs> now we got Capricorn energy, okay? Could be any sign. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. For some of you, be careful. This person could be in a relationship or... They could actually be with someone else that they kind of step out on from time to time. Um, I'm going to say that this person likes to do things and like think of you. Um, this person has really strong carnal energy. Okay. Um, in a way that could be considered karmic, you know. So for some of you, like, if this person is like claiming to be like Christian or something, they they have little freaky ways that they do things that's kind of inappropriate. And if they're with someone else, yeah, this person is honestly like they're lusting after you in such a major, major way. And if you're with this person, you know, just you know, they they're like. You can expect them to kind of 
play mind games with you like maybe they might not be doing anything but they might have like a sort of sinister yeah way of like you know wanting to show you off but like play mind games with you in some sort of way I don't know if you guys can notice I'm, I'm covering the cards a little bit here so I just I want this video to go through but I love this deck so I, I'll fix it but yeah I'm really getting a strong vibe of where like this person don't like don't give it up too soon to this person if you feel like you know this person has a reputation as someone who's like in the limelight or get some type of clouds um, if a lot of people want to be with them, just kind of pl play it out. I don't know why this is kind of turning into advice, but I'm literally just being guided right now. And I'm so grateful to my guides to be able to share this with whoever needs this because I feel like this could really lead to something serious, even though this person is playing a few games, okay? This person still finds you really attractive but you know you want more than to just be seen as a trophy wife or a trophy husband so just be careful of this um the sexual energy that you have and to not get caught up and you know create something that you don't want you know with this temperance card i'm also hearing like thank you i'm also hearing that um to with your drinking be careful when you're drinking around this person be careful when you're like having cocktails with them because for some of you this person likes to see you when you're out of your body you know what i mean wow that just got super deep real heavy let's just see yeah for some of you this person could be falling in love with you and they could be letting you know this cuffing season. So overall, I definitely get the energy that this person wants to take the lead. So if you feel like you've been the one like trying to kind of like take the lead in the situation, let them take the lead. If they're pulling their energy back, you just do you and you be in your royal energy and let them serve you. Let them reach out to you because, you know, they might be like taking their time with, you know, and really confused about what they want to say because this person knows for sure that you have options um they know that you have options they know that you have other people that are interested in you and especially even if you've been with this person it's like and they're away especially for some of you i'm hearing this person could be away on a trip there could be some sort of separation between you right now this person is definitely thinking about you sexually they're craving you they're wanting to be in your presence and this coming season like i'm just saying like <laughs> Somebody's going to be well taken care of in the 3D. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, Aries energy, um, Gemini, Aquarius energy, Taurus energy. Yeah, so someone's going to be really taken care of real good this cuffing season. So if you've been having a difficult time like with your person in terms of their communication, just be patient with them because they are like thinking about you thinking about you thinking about you is what i'm hearing and if you haven't spoken to them or if you're expecting a, a text or whatever i'm telling you you're gonna get a freaking text message and it's gonna be talking about how they want to be with you how they want to spend time with you and how they feel like you're the one for them and they they don't want you to be the one that got away and that's what i'm getting so let's just pull like a couple more cards to see what they're gonna do next and maybe some advice that comes through these cards as i'm channeling these messages for my collective thank you so much for watching wow forgiveness and healing yeah this person oh this coming season like if you've been heartbroken or You've been through something tough like this person's gonna come through they're gonna hold you they're gonna spoon with you they're gonna cuddle with you they're gonna be all over you like this is what they truly want like oh my goodness they want you to um for some of you like they want you to apologize to them um and they want to apologize to you so give them an apology if you feel like you need to say you're sorry about something because I am getting that some of you hurt this person, but I'm also hearing that 
they deserved it. Listen, this is <laughs> a collective reading. This person definitely wants to hold you. We have tender touch. They love your skin. They love your skin. They love your skin tone. They love your hair. This person is telling me that, like, you smell so good. Romance. They want to take you out. They definitely want to show you off to their friends and their family and their colleagues. They're talking about you to their colleagues. Like, what? I'm hearing this is wifey, hubby, material. What? Okay. Some of you, they love when you wear the color red. The color red is coming through so strong in this reading. Um, okay, we got quality time. We got fertility. I love that. And we got the past. For some of you, this could be someone from your past. And it's like, you could have children with this person in there. And like, they just regret. Like, if you're not with them... Like, it's a lot, you know, with this person. And if this is someone new, I'm just saying, with this fertility card, and then we got mother right here, okay? Some of you could be seeing pregnant women. Some of you could be pregnant yourselves. Um, I'm being guided to tell you as a download, if you're seeing preg pregnant women, then that's a sign of good luck and prosperity that will be coming into your life. Daisies could be significant. This person is, need I say more? I mean, <laughs> quality time. And also, too, I'm hearing that all of that, like, trash or drama, like, it's dead. It's already in the past. Um, they want to let the past stay in the past. And even if it's other people involved, I feel like if you're thinking about something that happened in the past, they want you to stop thinking about that. Um, this cuffing season is so beautiful for whoever this reading is for. That's really all I have for today. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to press like, share, subscribe. Comment and let me know what's on your mind. I really love reading you guys' comments. And I'll see you soon in your next reading. Namaste. They know that you have options. They know that you have other people that are interested in you. And especially, even if you've been with this person, it's like, and they're away, especially for some of you. I'm hearing this person could be away on a trip. There could be some sort of separation between you right now. This person is definitely thinking about you sexually. They're craving you. They're wanting to be in your presence. And this coming season, like, I'm just saying, like, <laughs> somebody's going to be well taken care of in the 3D. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, Aries energy. Um, Gemini Aquarius energy, Taurus energy, yeah, so someone's going to be really taken care of real good this cuffing season, so if you've been having a difficult time, like, with your person in terms of their communication, just be patient with them because they are, like, thinking about you, thinking about you, thinking about you is what I'm hearing, and if you haven't spoken to them or if you're expecting a, a text or whatever, I'm telling you, you're going to get a freaking text message and it's going to be talking about how they want to be with you, how they want to spend time with you and how they feel like you're the one for them. And they, they don't want you to be the one that got away. And that's what I'm getting. So let's just pull like a couple more cards to see what they're going to do next. And maybe some advice that comes through these cards as I'm channeling these messages for my collective thank you so much for watching wow forgiveness and healing yeah this person oh this coming season like if you've been heartbroken or you've been through something tough like this person's gonna come through they're gonna hold you they're gonna spoon with you they're gonna cuddle with you they're gonna be all over you like this is what they truly want like oh my goodness they want you to um for some of you like they want you to apologize to them um, and they want to apologize to you 
So give them an apology if you feel like you need to say you're sorry about something because I am getting that some of you hurt this person, but I'm also hearing that <laughs> they deserved it. Listen, this is <laughs> a collective reading. This person definitely wants to hold you. We have tender touch. They love your skin. They love your skin. They love your skin tone. They love your hair. This person is telling me that, like, you smell so good. Romance. They want to take you out. They definitely want to show you off to their friends and their family and their colleagues. They're talking about you to their colleagues. Like, what? I'm hearing this is wifey, hubby, material. What? Okay. Some of you, they love when you wear the color red. The color red is coming through so strong in this reading. Um, okay, we got quality time. We got fertility. I love that. And we got the past. For some of you, this could be someone from your past. And it's like, you could have children with this person in there. And like, they just regret. Like, if you're not with them... Like, it's a lot, you know, with this person. And if this is someone new, I'm just saying, with this fertility card, and then we got mother right here, okay? Some of you could be seeing pregnant women. Some of you could be pregnant yourselves. Um, I'm being guided to tell you as a download, if you're seeing preg pregnant women, then that's a sign of good luck and prosperity that will be coming into your life. Daisies could be significant. This person is, need I say more? I mean, <laughs> quality time. And also, too, I'm hearing that all of that, like, trash or drama, like, it's dead. It's already in the past. Um, they want to let the past stay in the past. And even if it's other people involved, I feel like if you're thinking about something that happened in the past, they want you to stop thinking about that. Um, this cuffing season is so beautiful for whoever this reading is for. That's really all I have for today. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to press like, share, subscribe. Comment and let me know what's on your mind. I really love reading you guys' comments. And I'll see you soon in your next reading. Namaste.